back. In parts of central Georgia, families are struggling to get healthy, nutritious food on the table, but that's only part of the problem. According to the Georgia Food Bank Association, one in six Georgians are food insecure, meaning they don't know where they will find their next meal. According to the nonprofit Feeding America, Baldwin County's food insecurity rate for children is 26 percent, partly because of food deserts where there isn't enough access to grocery stores or farmers markets. One in four children live in homes suffering as a result of food insecurities, and this means that more than 700,000 children in Georgia have been hungry without access to food they need. The Baldwin County School District is trying to change that by offering dinner to students in after school programs. Kayla Solomon took a look at the need and how many students will benefit. Judy Stone King leaves work around 3 p.m. every day. But she says when her kids were in school, she worked long hours. Because at that time, I, w I was working evening shifts somewhere else. So that would have been really great. Helped out a lot. She's talking about the new supper program at Baldwin County Schools, which will serve dinner to students in the district's after-school programs. Help out the parents, the ones that don't have time, and the ones that really can't afford stuff. Starting on Monday, students at all of the elementary and middle schools will be offered an extra meal before heading home. Baldwin County Schools has over 700 students involved in their after school programs, and about 100 of them come from here at Lakeview Academy. Susan Nelson, the school district's director of nutrition, says this program will be offered Monday through Thursday, and some teachers have offered to stay late to serve the meals. One of them lasts until 6.30 in the evening, and then a lot of times those kids may get on a bus and ride for another 45 minutes to an hour. So I don't know about you, but I'm hungry by 5 o'clock, so there's definitely a need. And instead of giving them sandwiches or pizza like they get for lunch, Nelson says the goal was to give them hearty meals. We're doing meatloaf and mashed potatoes. We've got spaghetti and tossed salads. We've got um, Salisbury steak. Nelson says this program will be opened up to the high schoolers in the next few months. But the goal is to make sure every student who stays late goes home with a full stomach. In Baldwin County, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Now this program is funded through uh, Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning Grant that totals about $30,000 per month.